plus, number 99, I put defense, center, and running back. My name is um, Rodriguez, number 92, I play left guard and right guard. My name is, my name is, number, my name is 88, my number is 88, and my name is Powers, and I play flanker on offense. My name is Porter, 87. I forgot. My number is 81, Bill, and I play for offense. Offense line. My name is 80, McFarland. I play linebacker, flanker, and nothing else. My name is 67, McMahon. I play with guard and center. My name is Gary Thompson, number 60. I play tackle on defense. My name is 55, Benjamin Jones. I play uh, tackle or nose guard on defense. I play right end on offense. I am Jose Hernandez. I play on left end. My name is Trevor James. I play guard and my number is 52. What's your name? Hi, I'm 46. I play inside linebacker. Hey, hey, guys. Brian P. Turn around, face forward, please. I play linebacker. 41, Bubba, P.O.I. Well, I got no idea. Let's go. Walker 30. I am Walker 33. Oh, this Sorry. guy needs to uh, um, make sure when he hits that hole, he doesn't have no glare okay. in his eyes. Speak up, guys. Speak up. Louder. Hi, my name is Jared Cardoza. I'm number 32. I play defensive tackle. I'm Matt Sumer. I play right tight end. Right. <laughs> Louder. I'm Coach Ann, 24, and I play running back. I'm Andrew Trainer, I play and I'm 22, I play tight, right tight end. Hi, my name is Sean Summer, my number is 21, and I play left tackle. You got this guy? I play linebacker, and I'm not Oh, you missed him. Oh, you're I'm going to I'm going to go to the 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 I'm going to go to I'm Chris Washer, yeah, I play center. Oh, get, in line. get in line, get in line, I'm coming to you. My name's David Sperino, I'm, I'm one of the best nose guys on the team, and um, I'm number 10. My name's Kenny Lawson, um, I usually play um, right in, and my number is 9. My name is Martin Suki, my number is 27, and I play right tackle. Speak louder. My name is Francisco Carl, my number is number 4, I play yeah, offensive tackle. My name is Chris Cowher, I'm number 2, I play running back, I play, I play defensive tackle and off and also running back. I think I think we're gonna kill. Right. Let me finish you off. All right. <laughs> there you go. Dave, hold on. Come on, hit it, hit it. Dave, hold on. Come on, hard, hard, hard. There you go, Vila. Good job. Dave, hold on. Huh!
Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Williams, and on behalf of George Langevin Sports Video Productions, I'd like to welcome you to Vista, California, for today's side of Mighty Might Action. Two top teams ready to go head to head. You're taking a look at the Mighty Might Division Vista team, known as the Vista Skyhawks. They'll be going up against today the Gators from Escondido. Let's take a look at the official rosters for the Vista Skyhawks. By jersey number, wearing jersey number one will be William Avila. Number two will be Chris Calvert. Number four, Kiko Haro. Number seven, Martin Suki. Followed by number nine, that'll be worn by Kenny Lawson. Number 10 is David Spirino. Number 12 will be worn by Chris Maroshegi. Number 13, Tyson McMahon. Anthony Shute will be wearing jersey number 14. Edward McLean will be 17. Number 19 is Leo Fletis. Number 20, Kyle DeThomas. Sean Summer, number 21. Andrew Trainer, number 22. Jersey number 24, that'll be Ryan Koshan. Number 28, Matthew Smith. 32 will be Jared Cardoza. Number 33, Nicholas Walker. Number 41, that's Bubba Pugh. You'll be watching out for him today, along with Gator Pugh. He'll be number 42. Number 46, Orlando Jaime. Number 50, Cameron Chadwick. Number 52, Trevor James, followed by number 54. That'll be Jose Hernandez. Wearing jersey number 55, Benjamin Jones. Number 60 is Garrett James. 67, Tim McMahon. Number 80, Clayton McFarlane. Number 81, Dustin Bell. Number 87, Marty Porter. Number 88, David Powers. Number 92, Joe Rodriguez. And number 99, Shane Sluss. Head coach for the Vista Skyhawks, that's Greg DeThomas. Assistant coaches Joe Pugh, Joe Rodriguez. Business manager is Ray Koshin. Denise Koshin is the team mom, and Dana Suki is the trainer. Coming up, top Pop Warner action right here in Vista. It'll be the Vista Skyhawks and the Escondido Gators. Beautiful morning here in Vista. The Skyhawks have won the toss they've elected to receive. Moments away from the start, there's the whistle. And setting up for the kickoff is Escondido. Now moving over on the far side. Attempted onside kick won't go far enough and so that will be a penalty against Escondido Gators for the Skyhawks they'll take over Skyhawks will be moving from left to right and at QB will be number 41 Bubba Pugh let's take a look at the offense for the Skyhawks offensive line is Avila McMahon Sluss Rodriguez Summer De Thomas. Bubba Pugh, number 41 at quarterback. In the backfield, Calvert and Koshan. McFarlane and Trainer on the slots. Coming right up the middle, now moving to the outside. Speed burners put on. He may go all the way. Number two, Calvert 
rumbles down the outside and takes on the whole Escondido Gators back and leaves them in the dust. A nice move at the 10-yard line, splits the defenders, and Calvert does the job on the first play from scrimmage for the Skyhawks, and with just seconds gone in the first quarter play, Skyhawks get a touchdown and go on top, six to nothing. Nice blocking, trying to keep the outside free, pinned in the defensive ends, and it was Calvert on his scramble outside and made the turn, went upfield, and it was history after that. Let's see what we can do. Skyhawks now will go for two. The ball is down. Koshan with the attempt. The ball is up. Just misses underneath the crossbar. Good attempt, but it'll be no good. And once again, with just a few seconds left to play, the first play from the line of scrimmage for the Skyhawks, they are out in front six to nothing. So Ryan Koshan puts the ball up on the tee back for the Gators, number 88. That's Bradley Cable. And number 57, DJ Travesky. Travesky now picks the ball up, trying to move outside, and it's a nice tackle by big number 41, Bubba Pugh. And so now the Gators will go on offense for the first time, and they'll try and march the ball downfield. Six to nothing is the score. Vista Skyhawks out in front. So the Gators now with their first offensive possession. Vista taking a look at the defensive scheme for the Skyhawks on the defensive line. Maroshegi, Sluss, Koshin, Avila, Summer, Calvert. Linebackers, McFarland, Pugh, Cardoza, D. Thomas. First play from scrimmage. Loose ball and having to jump on it is the Escondido Gators, so that'll bring up a second down, and they were lucky to get that ball back. Number 17, Esteban Uribe had to fall on it. Uribe now in the game as quarterback. Second down and 10. Ball at the 20-yard line. Once again, snap is fumbled, and Uribe has to fall on it. So they're having a little bit of a difficulty right now taking the snap from center. That's going to bring up a third down and 10. And for the Gators, they want to try and get a good handle on the ball and bring it up. Casey Woods, now a quarterback, handoff, trying to go up the middle and look like for possibly just a short gain. It's going to be fourth down and a long 10 for the Gators. Big pile up right in the middle. Good defensive stand by the Vista Skyhawks. Fourth down. Gators now, it's going to go right up the middle. And a big stance by the Skyhawks, big number 52. That's Trevor James along with Cameron Chadwick, number 50. Big stop in the backfield, and that's going to change possessions. And the Skyhawks are going to have excellent field position at the 20-yard line of the Gators. And so now Skyhawks with only their second offensive play of the game. We'll see what happens on this one. Pew up underneath center. He'll take the snap. Handoff coming to the outside. Nice move inside. Now it's to the races once again, trying to split defenders. And it took the whole Escondido Gators team to bring down big number 99, Shane Sluss. Nice offensive play getting to the outside. So now it's first and goal inside the five yard line. Call it the four. Bubba Pugh now moving up in the backfield. It's Avila and Sluss. Avila straight up the middle. Big hole, touchdown. Huge hole right up the middle for William Avila. He found the daylight and went literally untouched right into the 
touchdown zone and the cheerleaders running. They're going to have a workout today if this keeps up. Cheering on the team in the backfield. And so number 24, Ryan Koshin, will try an extra point. In the Pop Warner division, at this level, kicking an extra point is two points, running or passing in is one. So they're going for two. And so Koshan, ball on the tee, Pugh holding it. Koshan looking for a good foot. It's up. It's good. Nice ball kick by Koshan. And that gives him eight points for that score. So now the score, still in the first quarter of play, is Vista Skyhawks 14, Escondido Gators nothing. Okay, once again, Vista lining up for the kickoff. Koshan will put the foot on the ball back for the Gators, number 88 and 57, Cable and Travesky. Picked up on the short. Nice hit. Big Bubba Pugh came down like a locomotive and just put the hit on number 69, Jared Keith. Talking about taking hits. Known as the Bash Brothers, Bubba Pugh, McFarland, DeThomas, and Ryan Koshin. Known as the Bash Brothers, you can see it right there as flying down there, Big Bubba Pugh put the hit on uh, number 69, Jared Keith. We'll be first down now and 10 for the Gators. Looking at the defensive lineup now for Vista. On the line, number two, Calvert. Trevor James, 52, Shoot, Spirino, Suki, and Koshin. Linebackers is Chadwick, McFarlane, and Pugh. In the defensive backs positions, you've got Pugh and Walker. So that's the lineup for the Vista Skyhawks. Now the Gators come to the line. Get in the backfield, Jimmy. At quarterback, Nathan Ong. Handoff looking for somewhere and in the backfield, and he'll be taken for a loss by number 14, Anthony Shute. Shute doing a good job breaking through the line, coming from his nose guard position, was able to make a stop at the backfield. That's going to be a loss of about one yard, making it second down and 11 yards to go for Escondido. Beautiful day here for football, nice and crisp. Definitely fall weather. You're enjoying it. The sunshine is out. We've actually have the sunshine behind us. Still have a full moon out in the sky. And it is great, great weather right here in Vista. Okay, coming up to the line now. Nathan Ong under center. Snap of the ball right up the middle. Nice movement and a nice pickup by number 17, Esteban Uribe. Taken down by number seven, Martin Suki. Pick up of about four yards, and so that's gonna make it now. Third down and about seven yards to go. Big front line, Martin Suki for the Skyhawks. Number 14, Anthony Shoot. Number 52, Trevor James. Number seven, and then of course number 57. The Third down and seven for Escondido. Quick toss, fumble, and a pylon in the backfield. Pew is there as well as Trevor James recovered by Escondido. So that's going to bring up a big. Big fourth down, fourth down and about 14. And for the Escondido Gators, they're trying to get on track offensively. Right now, the defensive dominance of the Vista Skyhawks has been too much. 
Uribe now back to punt. He'll put his foot on the ball. Koshan now picks up, looking for some running room. Fumble! And who's going to lie on it? Koshan looked for some razzle-dazzle play. And the ball's recovered by Escondido. So it was a little bit of a confusion in the backfield. Koshan trying to hand off for some razzle-dazzle. No handle could be found. And so now Escondido in a good position to move the ball forward. So it's number 16 for Escondido. A little bit of movement on the line. Trying to move to the outside. Nice tackle. Chris Calvert, coming from his defensive end position, was not about to let Escondido get to the outside. Nice containment by Calvert. That'll bring up a second down, a loss on that play, and a big loss it was of about six yards. Second down and 16. Nathan Ong for Escondido, given credit for the fumble recovery on the punt. And now the Vista Skyhawks picking up defensively where they left, less, uh, last left off on their last series. And for Escondido, going to try and find out what they can do. Ong, hand up, moving to the outside. Esteban Uribe looked like he was going to try and break to the outside, but good containment by the defense. Trying to move in. Gator Pugh helping out on that tackle. Third down and 15, pick up a one. And so the Gators now find themselves in a hole once again. Change of defensive linemen. Let's take a look at who they got in there right now. Number 60. Garrett James in the middle nose guard position. Quick pitch and a big hit. Big Bubba Pugh came in, screaming in. And for the Gators, had no chance to get that play off. Big all-star play by number 41, Big Bubba Pugh. Fourth down now and about 20 yards to go for the Gators. On the defensive line for Vista, let's take a look. Number 19, Leo Fletis. Number 46, Orlando Jaime. Rollout by the quarterback trying to move around the end, but he's caught from behind nicely by the defense of Vista. That fourth down it does not convert to a first down, so now the chains move the opposite way, and now Vista will take over for their third, third series. First and ten now for Vista as they line up for their start of their third series. Koshan now at quarterback. Right up the middle. Nice run by Checking it out. Number 19. Number 19, Fletus with the ball carry. Nice pickup of six yards on the play. Make sure they're on the line, Ryan! So it's Fletus and Lawson in the backfield. Koshan under QB. And this time it's Lawson, and he towers over everybody, and he's going to cross the first down line, so that'll be a first down for Vista. And so Lawson, number four, check that number nine, Gives the first down for the Skyhawks. Offensively on the line, you've got number 52, James, 52, Chadwick, center, Tim McMahon, number 87, Porter, number 10, Sprino, number 54, Hernandez. In the slot position, number 88, Powers, and in the far end position, 
number 55, Jones. So Koshan now brings them up in a T formation in the backfield. Moving to the outside and brought down from behind. So number 88, Marty, 88, David Powers with the ball. Brought down by number 83, that's Anthony Aguilara for Escondido. So it'll be second down now and seven for Vista. Defensively for Escondido on the front line, number 55, Russell Pollard, number 74, Aaron Ortiz, number 63, Andre Gonzalez. Koshan. Now brings the team up to the line. He'll take the snap on a rollout to the far side. Looking for some help, and he'll be brought down after a very short game. Tried to move to the outside. Escondido doing a nice job containing on the outside. Had nowhere to go. Had to bring it upfield, and that'll bring up a second down and five yards to go. This day in the lead by Whistle blows. That'll be the end of the first quarter. And a good quarter it is for Vista. They out in front after one quarter, 14 to nothing. They'll switch sides and continue on, now moving right to left. First play to start the second quarter. Off the end, nice run by number 19. Fletus, Fletus goes off tackle, picks up a nice gain, but not enough for the first down, as it'll be third down for the Vista Skyhawks. <laughs> Referee's signal will be fourth down. They got about five yards to go. Kosha now brings them back up. Fletus and Lawson in the backfield. Powers and Jones on the ends. Koshan takes the snap. Going to roll out on his own. Going to try and break to the outside. Good pursuit. Moves upfield. Now going. Nice run. Was able to get around to the outside. Turned it up. Weaved his way down. He's got a first down for the Skyhawk. So first down and 10. On the 20 yard line of Escondido. Uh, 77, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Ryan Koshin now back in the T formation. Block, David Powers along with Lawson. Powers takes the ball looking for some outside help and he's going to be smothered in the backfield with the help of Weston Andrew. Number 81 came through the line, was able to put a hit on Powers, and that'll be second down with a loss of four. Coming back up to the line. Koshan. Come on, Lawson. Lawson hit as he got to the line of scrimmage with his big body able to barrel forward for two. And so that'll bring him back to the original line of scrimmage and it'll be third down and 10. Skyhawks trying to fight to put another score on. Escondido doing a good job right now defensively. Leo hit the hole hard, baby! Lawson and Fletus in the backfield. Kosha now up under center. He'll take the snap right up the middle. And now a host of Escondido Gators bring him down after a short gain. So Fletus took the ball up the middle, gained two, and so now it'll be fourth down and eight. Head coach Mike Vaughn has his team together and moving. 
Hernandez now lines up on the near sideline. Powers in the slot position. This time it's going to be a rollout by Koshan. Looking for an opportunity, and he gets tripped up by Escondido, number 57. A nice job slicing through. That's DJ Travesky, and can't make the first down. And so now the Vista Skyhawks go back on defense, and it'll be the Escondido Gators. We're in second quarter play, 14 to nothing, Vista. So Escondido comes to the line first and 10 at the 18-yard line. Ong hands off in the middle, number 17, Edward. He is hit at the line of scrimmage and stays right there by Bubba Pugh. Let's take a look at the defense for Vista. On the defensive line, number two, Chris Calvert. Number 17, Edward McLean. 55 is Benjamin Jones. Number 60, Garrett James. Number nine, Kenny Lawson. And number 24, that's Ryan Koshin. Linebackers, number 46, Orlando Jaime. Number 80, Clayton McFarland. And number 19, Leo Fettis. 41, Bubba Pugh, one of the strong safeties with number 33, Jared Cardoza. Once again, melee in the middle of the field trying to get some action up front. That was number 88. Cable Bradley gets about two, and so now we've got third down and seven to go. So containment now necessary by Vista, Calvert on the near side, Bubba Pugh on the far side. Coming up the line is Ong in the backfield for Escondido, number 17, Esteban Yoribe. He'll take the ball and try and move to the outside, cuts it up inside and takes up another two to three yards. It's gonna be fourth down and about Five yards to go for Escondido. And Escondido trying to grind some yardage out on the ground, doing a nice job up the middle. Fourth down and about four yards to go for a first down for Escondido. It'd be their first first down of the game if they can complete it. We'll see what happens. Defensively, Vista trying to dig in the trenches. So Jared Keefe. Ball coming to the outside. Nice effort right there. Number two, Chris Calvert. Stayed home and then was able to contain the play. And so it's fourth down changes now to first down, possession goes offensively over to Vista, and they'll move the other way in great position on the 20-yard line of Escondido. First and 10, Vista Skyhawks. So Vista now. Umpire signaling four minutes left in the first half, and with that, we've got a score of 14 to nothing, Vista. Bubba Pugh now under quarterback. He'll take it hands off to McFarland. Nice weaving in and out, and he'll pick up some big yardage on that play. McFarland took the ball in the backfield and was able to weave his way in and out and picked up a big chunk, almost 10 yards. We'll give him nine. It'll be second down. McFarland, good enough to pick up the first down inside the 10, so now it's going to be first and goal from the 10, inside the 10. Pew takes the handoff once again, McFarland moving to the outside, runs into the end zone, but there is a flag on the play, holding will be called against the Skyhawks. Trainer. Come on, trainer. Mm. 
Nice play, but it's all going to come back on a holding penalty. Every time he got a touchdown, somebody called it back. Joe did it the last time. I said, it better not be Joe, man. He's the one that got a touchdown. And so they'll move it back. Come on, guys! Ten yards, and they'll have first down. Get outside. outside the 10. So it's inside the 20. So it's going to be first down and 15 on a five-yard penalty. In the backfield, Calvert, McFarland, and Koshan. McFarland with the ball, moving to the outside. He's got the speed, could go all the way. Breaks it out and into the end zone this time. No flags. Touchdown, Vista. So the whole offensive series was to number 80, Clayton McFarland. Three times with the ball. And this time he makes it on the near side run, getting to the outside, turning on the speed. And for Vista, they put the ball for the third time in the first half in the end zone. And now number 24, Ryan Koshan, will try and once again make a two-point conversion. The ball is put down by Bubba Pugh on the tee. Koshin now puts his foot into it. It's up. Hits the bottom of the crossbar. No good. Another six inches, and it would have been all right, but that's all right. Nice toe on the ball. And so at the just inside the four-minute mark, close to halftime, 20 to nothing the score. Vista Skyhawks out in front. Koshand, ready to kick off. Falling on it for Escondido, number 81, Weston Andrew. Nice kick, it was right into an open area. Charging for the ball was Vista, but it was number 81, Weston Andrew falling on it. So for Escondido, with probably about three minutes left in the first half, they're gonna take the ball over at the 44-yard line. They'll try and move the ball down and score before time runs out. <laughs> Moving back, now coming up to the line of scrimmage, will be Escondido. Number 68, the center for Escondido, Corey Fonseca. Ong still the quarterback in the backfield. Number 69, Jared Keefe, along with number 17, Esteban Yoribe. And Yoribe takes the ball looking for something. And nice, nice job. Number 50 and number 7 for Vista, both right there. That'll be Martin Suki, number 7. Number 50, Cameron Chadwick. Nice job penetrating defensively. And that'll bring up a second down, loss of two. Now second and 12 for Escondido. On coming out as well as Jeremy Owens will have a new quarterback. Timeout called by Escondido as they take a look. With the score, Vista Skyhawks 20, Escondido Gators nothing. Second and 12 for Escondido. New quarterback. Rolling out, number 15, D.J. Travesky. Huge hit by number two, Chris Calvert. And Travesky is injured. D.J. Travesky slow getting up, but he comes up after his own power. And that was after a super, super hit and stick. Number two. Oh, that's Chris Calvert, who just drove DJ into the ground, and that's part of football. Give credit to a strong defensive play by Calvert. That'll bring up a third down now. And 16, call it 17. Esteban Uribe, now at quarterback for Escondido. 
He'll roll out to his left, trying to turn the corner. Good containment by the Vista team. Uribe with the speed trying to get around the corner, but it would be no way by Vista as they have great containment on the outsides, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Vista takes a defensive timeout, and it'll be fourth down and 17 for Escondido. Let's take a look at the roster for Escondido. Number 11 is Connor Paradis. Number 16, Nathan Ong. 17 is Esteban Uribe. Number 20 is Adam Duchesne. Number 22, Casey Woods. Number 24, Moses Morales. Number 32 is Ignacio Cataccia. Number 33, George Lane. 42 is Brendan Vaughn. Number 54, Ryan McGlone. Number 55 is Russell Pollard. Number 57 is DJ Travesky. Number 63, Andre Gonzalez, 64 is Harley Darrington, 65 Matthew Starr, 66 Jeremy Owens, 68 Corey Fonseca, number 69 Jared Keith, 74 Aaron Ortiz, 75 is Marcus Ortiz, 77 Rick Duro, 78 Ryan Sullivan and 79 Trevor Gadinas will pick up the rest of the roster after this play. Fourth down and a bunch for Escondido. Sweeping, and there's a fumble picked up by Bubba Pugh. He may go all the way, and he does. Bubba Pugh picks up a fumble and rambles 36 yards for the fourth score for Vista in this first half. It was a fumbled handoff in the backfield by Escondido. The ball was bouncing around. Bubba picked it up on the hop and turned on his afterburners and just scorched the field down and got a TD for himself. 26 nothing the score right now. Koshan going to come in with a two-point conversion, try and make it 28. Everything is going right for this very talented Vista team today. Koshin. Ball on the tee by Pugh. Picks it up. Just misses to the right. Had the height. Just off wide to the right. So as we get close to halftime, we've got a score of Vista Skyhawks 26 and the Escondido Gators nothing. With the lead now extended past 24 points, Escondido will start at midfield. Handoff to Esten Uribe. He fights up for a yard gain up the middle. Timeout called now by Vista as they want to have the ball back and try and have another shot at putting the ball in the end zone. Vista Skyhawks enjoying the game, sitting on the bench. One of these days, their feet will actually touch the ground when they're sitting on the bench, but right now, swinging freely and enjoying a great, great game, both in watching and participating. Back to the action on the field. Escondido, second down and eight. Ong with the snap. He'll go back, and he's going to be taken down by Maro Shagi. Maro Shagi came right in from his defensive tackle position. Timeout called again by Vista. That's a second down loss. It'll be now second and 15. Coming in now, number 28, Matthew Smith. Smith now in. Going out. Hey, Ray. Ray. Get Rodriguez in one play and then we'll get it. Third down now for Escondido, Ong with the handoff. It'll go up the middle. Way to go, Joe. Nice effort by Escondido as number 88 Bradley Cable takes a host of Vista players. Gets a gain of four, so he'll be back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Very talented group of players on this Vista Skyhawks team. Right now in defensively, Avila, Koshin, Sluss, 
Marushege, Summer, Calvert, McFarland, Bubba, Cardoza, D. Thomas, and Walker. Fourth down and 10. Ong under center. He'll take the snap right up the middle. Nice run by number 17, Esteban Uribe, but it'll not be enough as fourth down falls up short by five. And so now offensively, Vista takes over. Bubba Pugh now brings the Vista Skyhawks up to the line of scrimmage. Looking for a pass, first one today. Nice catch and run. Got the speed down the sideline, Sluss. He may go again all the way, and he does. Beautiful pass from Bubba Pugh. Bubba Pugh rolled out to his right, turned around, threw the ball back across to Shane Sluss, and Sluss with the speed able to get outside and run down the sidelines. And we're going to call that a 55-yard TD play for Skyhawk. Vista now going for one. Handoff up the middle. They're going to get in there. William Avila puts the ball into the end zone, and they'll get an extra one for that. So there's another seven. Ball, coach. Is that their ball, isn't it? Is that their ball? Yeah. And so the half ends on another score by the Vista Skyhawks. A great, great play again by Shane Sluss from a pass from Bubba Pugh. And, of course, that ends the first half. The score we've got after two quarters, Vista Skyhawks 33, Escondido Gators nothing. Now coming up for your viewing pleasure, will be the Vista Skyhawks cheerleaders. That'll be Amanda Carrier, Ashley Fletus, Alexis Fletus, Danielle Prey, Angela Reynolds, Kristen Trainer, Alyssa Wade, and Ashley Wynn. And look at those glittering palms. They are ready to put on a show for us right now.
guys. Standing with me here at halftime is defensive coordinator Joe Pugh. Everything's going your way, Joe. Certainly is. Um, kids practice hard. Did a lot of good work to get here. Um, I haven't made a tackle yet, but I'm trying. <laughs> what do you tell them at the start of the game to get them psyched up to ready to play? Oh, just to, to play one position. Don't try and play everything. If you're an end, you're an end. Don't try and be the lineman and the, full, and the uh, defensive backs. Just stay home, play your position. And they listen well. They're good kids. What do you think is the strongest part of your defense today? Discipline. Hanging tough. And uh, just good hard work all week. Well, they're looking great out there. Good luck in the second half, Coach. Okay, thanks. We're going to Disneyland. We've got a, a super second half ready to go for you. Vista Skyhawks, they're up on firing on all cylinders. They're ahead 33 to nothing, and they're looking to pour more points on the board just for you today. Let's go back and take a look at the second half. Start of the second half, first play from scrimmage. It's a fumble by Escondido. Falling on it is the quarterback, Nathan On. And so that'll bring up second down. So we're starting the second half, no kickoffs, as the lead of 33 to nothing dictates that the opposing team starts at the 50-yard line to move offensively. And for Escondido, their main goal right now is simply to try and figure out how to move the ball against a strong, strong Vista defense. Second down and 10 will be for Escondido. The rest of the roster for the Escondido Gators, we left off with number 77, Rick Duro. Number 78 is Ryan Sullivan. Number 79, Trevor Godinis. Number 81 is Weston Andrew. Number 83, Anthony Aguilera. Up the middle goes number 20, Adam Duchesne. Duchesne dives into a Paul. Suki is there, as well as Shute and also McLean. Rounding out this roster, number 84, James Collier, 88, Bradley Cable, 89, Andrew Rulis, number 90, Brett Bacon, and number 91, Aaron Latka. Head coach, Mike Vaughn, business manager, Mike Cable. So there you've got the complete team rosters for both Vista and Escondido. It'll now bring up third and eight for Escondido. Nose tackle right now, David Spirino for Vista. He's ready to explode on the line. Anthony Shute is right next to him. Snap of the ball right up the middle. There's a fumble. And having to fall on the exchange is number 83. Anthony Aguilera having a tough time exchanging the ball today. First snap from the series was a fumble. The handoff now a fumble. Vista trying to capitalize on those mistakes, jump on the ball, and if not, run it all the way back. Fourth down now, and 12, Ong brings them up. Right up the middle, and taking a tumble down to the original line of scrimmage. Number 81, that was a stop on the play by a host of Vista players. And then we got an injured player, number 68, slow getting up, Corey Fonseca. And we'll take an injury timeout with Vista taking over possession offensively. So Fonseca comes up after on his own power for Escondido. He'll move off limping, but he'll be back. Now on the field offensively for Vista. Koshin, number 24 at quarterback. He'll have Fletis and Lawson in the backfield. Jones and Hernandez on the line with the rest of the Vista Skyhawks. Fletes takes the ball. Nice run, and he is stopped after about a three-yard, four-yard gain. Nice run. Quick feet by Fletes. Dancing and choosing his way through the line. Fletes now comes out. 
So it'll be second down and six on a nice four-yard run by Fletis. Taking a look at the Skyhawks sideline. Good colors Vista has. Very intimidating, that red and black. Kosha now brings them up to the line. Big number 54. Hernandez now in the game at end. Handoff now up the middle. Nice spin move. He'll pick up a couple more. Spinning around Jared Cardoza. Picks up another three. Now coming back into the game, number 21, Sean Summer. Taking a breather, Kenny Lawson, number nine. I tell you what, Kenny Lawson looks big enough to play high school football. He is a big, big athlete. So it's third down and little under five yards to play. For the first down, Koshin brings up his group. Cardoza in the backfield with Sean Summer. Summer right up the middle and immediately he's hit by an Escondido. Number 32, Ignacio Catachea. Nice hit on number 21, Summer. But Summer picks up a couple more. Coming in to check in now, number 64, Vista. That's Garrett James. James now into the game. Coming out of the game, Jared Cardoza, number 32. He'll take a breather. Substitutions are now coming in for Skyhawks. Nice opportunity to give everybody a chance to play. If you take a look at number 54, Hernandez, he is out there and he is hitting people. He's playing in for Vista. Koshin trying to get around. Nice play. Number 32 once again for Escondido. Ignacio Catachea was able to contain Koshin. And so on the fourth down, conversion fails and now Escondido will take over first and ten. Ong brings up the Gators, Ong back to pass. He's going to look being chased out of the pocket. He's going to try and roll around the end. He gets past the end and picks up a good chunk of chains, almost eight yards. It looked like Ong was back to look for a pass. Had to scramble out of the pocket because of the great pressure defensively. Got around the end, broke down, and picked up a nice gain. That's actually the biggest gain that Escondido has today, an eight-yard scamper by quarterback Nathan Ong. That'll bring up second down and a little bit more than two for Escondido. Gives them some hope that they can try and move the ball down this second half. Chadwick Cameron, as well as Gator Pugh, the containment for defense on the Vista side. Up the middle, you've got James Garrett, or Garrett James, as well as Jared Cardoza. Right up the middle, and they're going to get a first down if there's no penalties, and that'll be the very first first down for Escondido. Four-yard four gain on a quarterback sneak, and for the Escondido Gators, that is a major victory for them as they want to try and continue moving that ball. First first down of the game for the Gators. That keeps it motivated. Escondido up front, number 92, Joe Rodriguez. Got the big arm pads. Make sure that the collisions don't get those bumps and bruises on there. He's got a neck brace on. He looks like an All-American right there. That's number 92. Umpire talking about the neutral zone, not to get too lined up where you're offsides, moving back. Coach Pugh informing them. Ong now taking the snap. Handoff up the middle. 
And once again, a host of Vista players, number 50, Cameron Chadwick was there. Number 17, Edward McLean was there as well to put the stop on it. Pickup of two, two and a half. We'll call it second down and seven for Escondido. Coming out, Martin Suki as well as Leo Fletis. Linebackers Tyson McMahon for Vista lines up square over the center. Kenny Lawson, strong safety. Now coming in at the last minute, number 69, that's Jared Keefe, fullback. Ong now hands off. And right there's Matt with a fumble. Number 14. Anthony Shute met Ryan McGlone in the backfield with a strong hit. A uh, hit hard enough to shake the ball loose. And number 22, Andrew Trainer for Vista doing the job of falling on the ball. Good defensive stand for Vista. Now offensively, they'll take over and move the ball the other way. Skyhawks now back on the offensive attack. Bubba Pugh now a quarterback. Handoff right up the middle. Nice slashing moves. Chris Calvert moving down. And at the last minute, he is taken down on a shoestring tackle by Connor Paradis. Flag on the play. And that's going to bring back an exciting run by Chris Calvert. It was holding against the Skyhawks, and so a great, great slashing run and burst of speed will have to be another time as it's back. It's actually signaled a low block clipping, and so now that moves the ball back, and for Vista, they'll have to start over. So it'll still be first down. It'll be first down in 15. For the Good close-up action as we are lined up right at the line of scrimmage. Koshin back now at quarterback. Come on, Gator. In the backfield, Jared Cardoza. Nice move, going to move outside. Gator Pugh, who also in the backfield, takes the ball looking for daylight, had to bounce to the outside, ran down from behind by number 74, Aaron Ortiz for the Gators. So it'll be second down now on a pickup about one. So we're at second down and about saying 15. Koshin brings them back up. Once again, it's Pew and Cardoza in the backfield. Snap on the way. Loose ball falling on it is Cardoza. Koshan just couldn't quite get the handle on that one. End of the third quarter has been signified. And so all the teams will move downfield, and we're moving into the fourth quarter of play with the Vista Skyhawks way out in front, 33 to nothing. Third down and a bunch for the Skyhawks. Kosha now under center, he'll take the snap. Jared trying to get somewhere, but a host of Escondido players, including both Ignacio Catateche and George Lane, was right there. So it'll be a fourth down for Vista. Both of these teams in the Mighty Might division out of the Palomar League have a long, long lifetime of playing sports, both in the Pop Warner area and probably 
many other types of sports. As you can see, these players very talented. Mighty Mites, you go on up to uh, Junior Pee Wee to Pee Wee. Then you go into Junior Midget, Midget, Junior Bantam, and at that point in time, you decide based on your size and weight, do you stay in a Junior Bantam or do you move up to possibly freshman in the high school? And then from that point on, it's freshman, Junior Varsity, Varsity, and then guess what? It's college and pro time. Of course, these kids have a long, long way, but you can see some great athletes out here that have a lot of great opportunity to be very, very successful. Kosha now back, takes the snap. He'll punt the ball. Nice ball going downfield. Gets through. It looks like it probably touched Lane. Falling on it is going to be Vista. And Vista has control of the ball, and they'll have great field position. Number 33, George Lane, tried to handle the punt, went right through the hands, and now it's taken over by Vista. Vista back on the attack. On the line, William Avila, as well as Jared Cardoza. Also see Kyle D. Thomas on the line. Sean Summer. Centering the ball right now, 99 big Shane Sluss. Koshand now under center. Hand off to Gator Pugh, and he is piled up right at the line of scrimmage. Give credit to both number 81, and that's going to be Weston Andrew. And number 33, George Lane, stuffed up the pile. Second down with no gain, second and 10 for Vista. We are in the fourth quarter, 33 to nothing. And right now, Vista enjoying an opportunity to just have some fun out here. That's what it's all about. Koshan now under the center. Gator Pugh in the backfield. Roll out Cardoza with the ball. There's an opening. Moving to the outside. Nice pickup. So Cardoza found the door. It was wide open and went right up field and gained nine yards, almost ten. It'll be third down and inches. And in this case, the umpire says it is a first down. Good enough for it, and they move on. Yes, yes. So the ball at the 24-yard line of Escondido, and timeout has been called. We'll take a timeout also with the score, Vista Skyhawks 33, Escondido Gators nothing. First and 10 for Vista inside the 24, and that's the number of the jersey on quarterback Ryan Koshin. Now in the backfield, Ryan... Koshin under center. Jose Hernandez takes the ball. Can't quite get started. Green offense now coming back on the field. So he's second down in 13, just now outside the 26 yard line. <laughs> now back in the backfield, Kenny Lawson. Nice handoff to Leo Fletis. He is hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring up third down. So Escondido putting up a stiff, stiff fight in this fourth quarter as running up the middle against Escondido has become very, very difficult. Third down now, ball just outside the 25. It'll be third down and 13. Needing a first down here, we'll see what they can do. Koshan now bringing them up. Lost it in the backfield along with Fletis. So that gives you a lot of fun. So after your game, come on back to the field and we're gonna have a parade and everything. Ball is snapped. 
given to Flettis, and he is going absolutely nowhere as he continues to lose ground. That will be fourth down now. So Escondido flexing their defensive muscle. And that will be fourth down. Ball just inside the 30-yard line. Kosha now coming out of the game. Number 33 now will be back, Nicholas Walker. Walker lining up for the punt on fourth down. Waiting for the ball for Escondido. Number 17, Esteban Uribe. Walker kicks it. Okay. Ball is loose and falling on it is Escondido. They maintain control and sell them move the other way. So it'll be Escondido's ball first and 10 on the 16 yard line. Ong takes a snap, hands it off up the middle and a host of Vista players led by number 50, that's Chadwick and number 19, Leo Fletis. So Fletis and Chadwick break through the offensive line and meet the runner in the backfield for a two yard loss. Second down now and 12 for Escondido at the 18 yard line. And for Vista, they, ha they can do nothing wrong today. Offensively and defensively, they have been the premier team today. Four-minute warning given by the head umpire. Bringing up the line, Corey Fonseca, the center for Escondido. Ong now gets up under center. In the backfield is number 17, Uribe, and number 66, Owens. Owens takes the ball, dancing around, and finds too much traffic to get anywhere except back to the line of scrimmage. So now it'll be third down. Picking up a few, few feet. Vista's front wall right now doing a very, very good job. Number four, Kiko Haro is right there on the line. He's in the tackle position. Number 19, Leo Fletis in on the last stop along with number 60, Garrett James on the line, anchoring the far sideline along with Haro. Number 14, shoot. New quarterback rolling out is number 57, DJ Travesky. He's got speed. Nice tackle. Number 88, David Powers saved what could have been a touchdown run by Escondido. Nice rollout play by DJ Travesky. Got around the corner as containment broke down, but give a big, big round of applause to number 88, David Powers, who saved what looked like and could have been a true touchdown for Escondido. Escondido comes up with a big play and a first down. They'll be out at the 35-yard line, first and 10 Escondido. Linebacking core for Vista right now. Number 12, Chris Moroshegi. Number 2, Chris Calvert. Number 88, David Powers, who came way over across the field for that last play. Number 52, strong safety, is going to be Trevor James. Now moving up, Ong back under QB in the backfield, Uribe, as well as number 69, Jared Keefe. Whistle blows and the flags fly. Offsides Vista as they line up in the neutral zone. That'll be a five yard penalty and give some offensive edge to Escondido as it now will be first and five at the 40 yard line. So the defensive wall of Vista, including Haro, James, Handoff now sweeping to the far side, has running room, puts on the speed, has the ball and another attempted tackle is shaken off, and he goes all the way for a touchdown. 
The Gators, with about less than four minutes to play, puts on an exciting run to sweep around the far side, was able to get around the containment of Vista and move the ball down. Marcus Ortiz, a beautiful, beautiful 60-yard run for Escondido. Uribe will put the toe on the ball. He'll try and convert for two. Bradley Cable holding it, and that'll uh, sail to the wide right. No good, but for Escondido, a moral victory as they put six on the board, and with less than four minutes to play, it's now Vista 33, Escondido 6. So the ball set up at the 50-yard line. That is in conjunction with the rule as you're leading by more than 24. The ball is set up at the 50, going both ways. Vista right now sets up at the 50-yard line. They'll go on offense with Koshen as QB in the backfield. Number 87, Marty Porter. Porter takes the handoff, and he is immediately smothered by number 67 for Escondido. And so that'll bring up a five-yard loss, make it second and 15 for Vista. But what you're seeing right now is some fun by the Vista team. They're up 33-6, to six, and obviously they want to just simply have a good time. It was 67 on Escondido who put the stick on Vista, but we are now up to timeout time for Escondido. They're going to take a uh, timeout to check helmets and some equipment. Now in the backfield, number 50, Cameron Chadwick. Fumble on the snap. Number 24, Koshin, he's able to take the ball into his hands. Right there for Escondido was 57. Almost getting the ball. DJ Travesky, 57 for Escondido. And so now Escondido using their timeouts. Third down and 16 for Vista coming out of the game is Fletis putting some fresh legs in for Vista. So in the backfield, it's Chadwick and James Koshin under center will take the snap. And this time it's a clean snap off. And Chadwick tries to bring it up. No gain on the play, so that'll bring up fourth down. And Escondido takes their last time out as we are at one minute of play here in the fourth quarter. So fourth down, Koshin back to punt. He'll take the ball. Ryan gets a nice punt way back, finding the handle, number 22, Casey Woods. He's going to try and go around the end. He's got some running room. Nice tackle out of bounds by McMahon. Tim McMahon saved what could have been another touchdown by Escondido, but it's a nice run back out past midfield. Penalty, back, penalty flag is thrown on the far sideline. We'll see what the penalty is all about by the head umpire. Personal foul. Late hit after the runner is out of bounds, and that will bring up an additional penalty and bring the ball all the way down inside the 35-yard line. Actually, now they have it at the 30. 15 seconds left on the clock, enough time for one play. If they stay in bounds, it's all over. If they can get outside and get out, they can probably stock the clock and have one more play. But they are, have no timeouts, Escondido, and so this more than likely 
will be the last play of the game. Coming up to center, number 68, Corey Fonseca. He's been there all game long. Call timeout, Joe! Back looking for a pass, it's thrown. Almost caught. Very, very close to being intercepted. Right there was number nine, Kenny Lawson. He had a beat on the ball, and it could have been a touchdown all the way. Just couldn't quite find the quick, quite handle on the ball. So it falls incomplete. Actually stops the clock, and so Escondido will once again have one more play. Coming out, number 10, David Sprino. The ball, the clock stops when the, um, when the And so just with a few seconds left, Vista, both on the sidelines and on the field, ready to celebrate a tremendous victory against this Escondido Gators team. Ong, at quarterback, he's been there all game long for the Gators. Ong back, looking for a pass. And he is going to get sacked. Record the sack for number 50, Cameron Chadwick. And a timeout is called by Vista. So Chadwick was able to come in there, and he was actually sandwiched on. So give credit to Joe Rodriguez along with Chadwick who had that sack. Ong now taking a sweep, trying to move to the outside. Containment broken down and now racing downfield is Ortiz. He is tripped up by number 42, Gator Pugh, and the final tackle put on him by number 14, Anthony Shute. Beckers, get back on this side of the 30. Ong now with the play. He's going to call it. Hold on. Once again, racing outside, looking to break the in, and he's got it going down Ortiz and caught from behind with a nice tackle. Garrett James. First down called. <laughs> and now Escondido down to the four yard line. Time for a big defensive stand. And number 60, Garrett James, who made that great tackle, is now laying down, holding his arm. We're going to take a timeout for an injury with the score with just seconds left. Vista 33, Escondido 6. So Garrett James, who was the injured player coming off the field, Garrett landed or had the runner land on his forearm. As you can see, he's holding it out in front of him very tenderly, coming off on his own power. Great tackle by number 60, Garrett James. Picking up action on the field. Good push by Escondido, and they come across and score. That was a quarterback sneak by number 69. Jared Keefe, and with the help of the offensive line and the running backs pushing from behind, they again score. And so now coming back out on the field, and they'll go for two. Vista with an excellent game today by all of their players. Avila, Calvert, Haro, Suki, Lawson, Spirino, Maroshegi, McMahon, Shute, McLean, Fletis, De Thomas, Summer, Trainer. Uribe now will try and put the extra point for two. Give credit to Koshan, Smith, Cardoza. And that is good. Nice kick by Uribe. So with that two point conversion, 14 points now scored by Escondido, 33 by Vista. Course plays by Smith and Cardoza, by Walker, by both Bubba and Gator Pugh. Outstanding performances today. Orlando Jaime, 
Jose Hernandez taking a ball and carrying it today as a running back. Doing a great job. Benjamin Jones, Garrett James making some outstanding tackles. Tim McMahon, Clayton McFarland saw him in action today. Dustin Bell, Marty Porter, David Powers, Big Joe Rodriguez had a half a sack today. Shane Sluss with some great running. Took the pass from the quarterback and ran it for a touchdown. Great, great plays by everybody today on the Vista Skyhawks roster. This is a complete team playing as a complete team today, and the score shows it as right now it's 33-14. And now, since the point differential is less than 24, Uribe will kick the ball off to Vista. In the backfield is Pew and Koshin for Vista. Nice kick! Ryan gets the ball at the 30. He's going to hang on to it, and he's going to try and get the outside. There's an opportunity if he keeps going. He's still on his feet. Nice running by Ryan Koshin, who turned the corner, got upfield, and with that play, that is the game. Beautiful run by Ryan Koshin at the end, and it was a saving tackle by Vista. That is by Escondido, who kept Ryan from the end zone. And what a great, great way to end this game on a great run. Both teams now lining up for the customary sportsmanlike handshake. And congratulations. Part of, part of Pop Warner is just that, making sure that win or lose, you can look out, everybody. Oh, no. That's a wet one in any football field. <laughs> Head coach Greg D. Thomas learns the hard way what it means to be a winning coach, gets the ceremonial ice bucket just dumped on him. And I'll tell you what, that was a direct hit. And if you score one to 10, that's got to be one of the best dunks you've ever seen on film. <laughs> Congratulations to Coach Greg to Thomas and the whole Vista coaching staff. Joe Pugh, fine job defensively today. Joe Rodriguez right there. The business manager, Ray Koch, and of course, you need to have the business manager. They've got probably the toughest job on the field keeping track of all the players who come and go. Denise Koshin, team mom, and of course, Dana Suki, the trainer, all combined parents and kids for a great, great win. Final score right here on the Vista home field. It was the Vista Skyhawks dominating the Escondido Gators all game long. Final score, Vista Skyhawks 33, Escondido Gators 14. On behalf of George Langevin Sports Video Productions, I want to thank you for watching this super game of the week. We'll be back right after this for post-game interviews with both players and coaches. Hi everybody, I'm Dan Williams and seated all around me is this super, super Vista Skyhawk team. A great win today and of course we've got three of the super athletes sitting right next to us. You are? Chris Calvert, number one. I mean two. <laughs> I think you're probably number one in the hearts of your mom and dad probably, huh? Yeah. And you are? Chad Cameron Chad Chadwick, number 50. And I'm... David Sperino, number 10. All right. Let's start with you, Chris. What do you feel most proud about out there on the field today? What did you do out on the field that you just feel really good about today? I scored a touchdown. C tell me about it. And I like... How, how did you score? Tell me how it all happened. Do you remember? Yeah. Well, first, quarterback snapped the ball, and I got it. And then I ran, and then my friend, Coach Ann, I was right behind him, and then... He blocked this one guy, I went around him, and then he ran up and caught up to me and got in front of me. 
and blocked another guy, and then I just ran off into the end zone. You sure did, and you did a great run, very talented. Congratulations on a great TD run. And, of course, sitting in between you is Cameron Chaddock. And I tell you what, if there's Chad Wick, and if there's anybody that looks like a football player, is look at this guy right here. Can you, can you give us, like, a real mean look out there to the camera right there? Give me your meanest look to the camera. Oh, that's good. Now, when, you are, when you're playing out on the field, do you ever talk to the other team at all? No. You don't talk at all? Why is that? Because they're mean to me, and I'm going to slam it on the ground. It's, so you're going to do your talking by tackling and hitting, huh? Yeah. What is it that you'd like so much about football that you like to play? Mm, I don't know. Does coach work you hard during practices? Yes. What's the hardest thing that you do during practice? Running laps and do leg lifts. Ah, but you know what? That makes you a good athlete, right? Yeah. And David Sperino on the very end. What's this black stuff you got all over your face? Uh. <laughs> what's this? What's what's this it's black mud. stuff supposed to do? It's mud. Besides making you look mean. War paints, huh? Do you play any other sports besides football? Nope. You like football, huh? How often do you practice? How many days a week? Three days. Three. Three days a week? And did you get, did you get to choose your type of face mask that you have there? Or was that issued to you? Issued. How about your number? Did you get that issued to you or did you choose that? Choose. Why did you choose number 10? I just wanted to pick See, a different number a than number. 84. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, three great talented athletes. Congratulations all three of you on a great win. Well, we're continuing our super parade of athletes. We've got three more superstars, and your name is? Clayton McFarlane, number 80. Avila, number one. Num Avila, number one. Avila, number one. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay, all right. Shane Sluss, number 99. Hey, uh, let's start with you over here, Clayton. Did you, uh, did you kind of do anything special today? Score a touchdown! Holy smokes, you scored a touchdown. Tell me about it. Um, it was, it was my first touchdown. First touchdown. Congratulations. All right. And it felt good. Now, when you were running with the ball, did you have your eyes open or closed? Open. Is that easier to run that way? Yeah. <laughs> did you think today that you were going to score a touchdown? Yeah. Oh, so you knew all along. It was just, you just knew it was there, huh? Well, I hear that you're a super talented uh, athlete. Is that true? Yeah. Congratulations on a great, great TD. And your first one, that's great. And of course, in the middle, we have William. Do you go by William? Or yeah. do you go by Bill? William. You like William. Okay. Does, does anybody call you Willie? Yeah. Okay. Everybody. Everybody, everybody calls you Willie. Now, tell me about your special plays today. I scored a touchdown? Yeah, tell me about it. Um, Sless, him. He, he did it all the way up to, like, like the one yard line or something like that, then the coach, I ran quick and it was on set. I got the ball and I just ran it in. Now, is that something that you do a lot on this team? No. <laughs> so it was the first one for you too? Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations on the great, great first scoring. Whole life, first one your life. first one in your whole life? Yep. Wow. Well, is your girlfriend here today to watch you? No. I'm <laughs> just kidding, yeah. Congratulations. Dude, I, got an extra, I got an extra point. That's right. You guys had a great, great game today. All of you, everybody out there was doing super. And, of course, Shane on the end here. Shane, you took a pass from Ryan, right? Tell me about that one. That was a super play. Well, he, uh, it was from Bubba, actually, and he You're went right, it was. back, and then he passed it to me. And then I was going to fake to the inside, but then um, the other team, he, he stayed there, so I kept on running right on the sideline. You ran all the way up that sideline, a beautiful run. Now, is that something that uh, you practice at? No. You mean it's just all natural ability? Yep. Hey, do you guys, do you ever practice uh, football inside the house? Uh, yeah, I throw the ball yeah, around yeah. my house. Do you guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But you, okay. well, it pays off because you guys had a great, great game. Three people here, three scores, right? Yeah. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Continue, continuing our parade of superstars, we got three more mean-looking dudes right here. You are? Uh, Joseph Rodriguez, number 92. Francisco Haro, number four. Martin Suki, number seven. 
Great. Now, I, I believe, Joe, that you were playing the defensive line when you helped sack the quarterback there. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, is that what did it feel like out there? How'd that whole happen? What does it feel like when you sack a quarterback? Cool. <laughs> what else do you think is cool besides uh, sacking quarterbacks? Um, you like to uh, play video games? Is that cool? Yeah. You know what I think is cool is I like the neck brace. I mean, neck brace, you got the arm. What do you think this is used for right here? For not snapping my neck back. Have you ever done that before? No. Okay, so you probably never will with that, right? And what are these What are these hand guards all for? For me running with the ball. <laughs> so that you won't get your arms hurt probably, huh? Okay, well, congratulations on the sack and just playing very well. And in the middle is uh, Kiko Haro, right? Yeah. Now, number four is a pretty, uh, pretty um, big number when it comes to not too many people having that. Did you pick that number yourself? Yes. Why would you pick number four? Because it's one of my idols. Who is that? It's Brett Favre. There you go. That's right. That's right. A big number four. Hey, now, do you, we talked about earlier with the other guys is that do you ever practice football in the house? Yeah. Do you? Well, let me ask you this question, and I'm only going to ask it and no one else will know. Have you ever broken anything inside the house playing football? No. Okay, all right. So that's the right answer to have there. And, of course, number seven is uh, Martin Suki, right? Now, how long does it take you to put this black stuff on? Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Hey, now, do you go home and take a shower immediately, or do you just kind of hang out in your nice, grimy, dirty, sweaty, stinky clothes? Hang out in my dirty, sweaty, <laughs> stinky clothes. It's like your mom does, and your mom and dad don't yell at you and say, go take a shower. No. <laughs> That is great. You guys are, are super athletes, and congratulations on a great win. <laughs> Wins are always fun. We've got one here we're enjoying today, and your name is? Kenny Lawson. What number are you? Nine. Marty Porter, 87. David Powers, number 88. Hey, and you guys all know your numbers. Do you ever, do you ever forget your number at all? No. Number nine, Kenny Lawson. I like this look right here. Is that something that you just started wearing, sporting? No, I, I, I've been getting these like since I was in first grade, and I just got this one yesterday. Really? Well, you know, probably when you were first born, you had something like that as well, huh? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> now, this is the type of helmet that you use here, huh? Can you can you show the cameraman inside there? What's what is? Just like a blue spider. What is that? Like a blue spider. Now, is that like an air helmet then? Mm, yeah. Okay, so they pump air in that? Yeah. When you have no hair, you probably have to put a lot of air in that, huh? No, it just stays <laughs> like that. What you, you, What was it like playing out there against Escondido today? Mm, actually, I like the team. Why did you like the team? Because they're nice and just like them. They weren't mean or, or play dirty or anything? No. Well, that's good. That's good. I mean, that's always nice to uh, be that way. And they had good sportsmanship. Well, I'd like to hear that from a man like that. Good sportsmanship. Is that important to you, is to play fair? Yeah. What is the one thing that you think is toughest to play football? What's the hardest thing about football? Tackling. Tackling. Have you ever been tackled or have you ever uh, tackled somebody where you, you uh, got up and you're, you saw stars in your head? Well, I did run the ball and I got tackled. What did it feel like to get tackled? Getting hurt. Would it be something you'd want to do all the time? Yeah. Would it really? Because I tell you what, running is fun, but you do have to take a pounding. And of course, sitting on the far side is David Powers, right? Big number 88. How long have you been playing football? Is this your first year? Yes. How do you like it? Pretty good. Well, what did your parents say when you asked them you wanted to play football? They said it costs too much. No way. <laughs> but my grandma took me. She said it, he needs it. It's, uh, it's good for him. It is good for you, and I think probably your parents were just probably trying to say that because they probably thought you guys might get hurt. Have you ever been hurt before? Uh, not, well, I've been on the ground for about five seconds or, or one minute. Yeah? Yeah. Not too bad, though, huh? You haven't been hurt at all before? Yeah. Oh, you have been? Well, that's probably a whole nother story. <laughs> hey, congratulations, guys, on a great win. Good job. <laughs> Continuing our long parade of superstars, you are? Tyson McMahon, 13. Tim McMahon, he was 67. Chris Marshall, he's 12. Now, let me ask you, first of all, do you know, have you ever heard of any pro football players with the last name McMahon? No. Never have? Do you know that there was a super quarterback for the Chicago Bears that won the Super Bowl? His name was Jim McMahon, so you got to remember that, okay? 
Now, number 13, did you know that is 13 a lucky or unlucky number for you? I don't know. Well, you just don't care. You just like to play football, huh? Yeah. Now, do you play other types of sports besides football? I play baseball and basketball. What type of uh, positions do you play in basketball? I don't know. All over? How about baseball? You are just a talented athlete, aren't you? And of course, in the middle is big number 67, right, Tim McMahon? Do you know this guy at all? Yeah. Well, how do you know him? He's my brother. He's your brother. Which one's older? T him. And which one's the better football player? Me. Yeah, I knew him. Oh, you agree with him, huh? Oh, that's great. What's the best thing that you do in football, you think? Tackle. Do you practice on your brother at home? Yeah. <laughs> do you let him practice on you? Oh, well, you're a good guy to be able to do that. Well, congratulations, both of you. And, of course, sitting next to you is Chris Maroshegi, right? Yeah. Now, that's a great name. And, of course, another good number. Did you pick that one yourself? Yeah. Now, who did you pick that for? Uh, um, because uh, I like Stan Humphreys. Oh, do you? Very good. Now, do you, do you get uh, concussions in the head as often as Stan does? <laughs> no. <laughs> you probably like to give them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, what type of uh, schoolwork do you like? What type of classes do you like in school? Math. And is it difficult to, to still do your homework and yet still have to practice football in the evenings? Is that hard? Not really. Not at all, huh? Nope. You get good grades? Yeah. Well, that's great because you need good grades to get into good colleges to play football and do well in life. Congratulations, each one of you guys. What? Super time, you are? Anthony Shoot. Number? 14. I knew that. Uh, Jose Hernandez, number 54. <laughs> and you are? Benjamin Jones, number 55. We'll start with you, Mr. Shoot. Now, when you're not playing football and having to practice, what things do you like to do? I might play baseball, go up to my friends, play a fo little football up there. Uh-huh. Well, you've been, uh, is this your first year playing football? Yes. And what, what made you decide you wanted to try football? Well, I figured out my friend was going to play football. I thought uh -huh. I, I was going to be on his team, so I tried out, and it's starting to be pretty fun. Good, and you know, the more you play, the more fun it is. And in the middle here, number 54, Jose Hernandez. Jose, you actually got a chance to run the ball today. Was uh, that the first time that you ran the ball? Yeah. What did you think of being a running back? Um, I think it was... Um, really great. <laughs> now, what did it feel like to get tackled, though? Because you got hit out there. Uh, um... Would you rather hit people or want to be hit? Hit people. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a better. Good job out there. You like playing football? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, how old are you? Seven. You're seven years. How old are you? Eight. And how old are you? Nine. Nine, seven, eight, and nine. You got to be the youngest on the team, then, right? Yeah. That's congratulations on having a great, uh, great game. And sitting next to you is Ben. Is that what they call you, Ben, yeah. or Benjamin? Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin. What grade of school are you in? Fourth. Now, Benjamin, <laughs> you look actually like you might play other sports as well. Do you play anything else besides football? Uh, I tap dance. You tap dance. You know what? That gives you great agility and and balance, right? Now you've got a pretty good number, 55. You know who else has 55? Junior Seau. <laughs> Absolutely. Is he the best guy that you like in football? Or? No. Who's your favorite uh, uh, football player? Jerry Rice. Okay. All right. Well, if you can't have, what number is he? Well, 80, I think, isn't he? Big Jerry Rice. But 55 is a good number also. So, now is your girlfriend here watching you today? No. <laughs> Not here today. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Uh oh. What's her name? <laughs> You're not going to tell me. What's your name? Hello. <laughs> okay, just kidding, you guys. You guys have great smiles, and you wouldn't think that you go out there and hit people, but you did today and had a great win. Congratulations. <laughs> Continuing our super parade of athletes, we've got three more here. You'd think that this team was already stacked with enough, but we've got yet three more. Your name is? Trevor James. Yeah, Trevor. What's your number? 52. Okay, and you are? Edward McLean, 17. <laughs> and you are? Leo Fuentes, number 19. And we'll start with you, Mr. 52. Hey, I didn't realize this, but you don't play, you don't play with shoulder pads. I mean, that's pretty awesome that you're out there on the field and, and making tackles and hitting people. What does it feel like to play with no shoulder pads? I play with them. Well, oh, I see. You must have taken them off, huh? Yes. Hey, what's, what's the hardest piece of equipment to take on and take off? My jersey. Your jersey? Do you have to have help getting your jersey put on? Yeah. 
<laughs> Who helps you with your jersey putting it on? My mom. Okay, now what if your mom's not around? What's going to happen? My dad. And what if your dad's not around? What's going to happen? I'm going to put it on myself. Okay, all right. I figured that you could only do that. Now, you, then you had shoulder pads too, right? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> but you took them off. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something is, is that when I play football and when my son plays football, it's the helmet that's the hardest to get off. Do you ever have problems getting your helmet off? No. No? Okay, how about chin straps? You ever have a problem snapping your chin strap? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it is pretty hard. You got it. Do you ever have a buddy help you? Mm, yeah. What did coach tell you at halftime today? Mm. Do you remember what he said? No. <laughs> there you go, coach. How about at the beginning of the game? Mm, kind of. Okay. And down at the very end, number 19, that's uh, Leo Fletis, right? Now, you got to run the ball some today, right? Right. What's your favorite thing to do in football? Um, to um, tackle. Tackle people. Have you ever hit somebody real hard and you heard them go, ouch? Yeah. Have you ever been hit and you've gone, ouch? Uh-huh. <laughs> How about you? Yeah. Have you ever, guys, have you guys ever gotten off the field and like you've had like a bloody face or a big broken arm or anything? My brother did today. Oh, yeah. We hope not, though. We hope not. He got a big bump on his arm. Yeah, you're right. It was, it was a big one. That happens. What's the biggest injury you've ever had before? Uh, no injuries at all? You're a lucky man. How about you? Um, uh, I don't really know. Well, you guys are lucky. No injuries. That's what we like because we want you to come back the next week and have another great game. Congratulations. Today's Super Game of the Week. Now, you are? Sean Summer. You are? Orlando Jaime. And? Kyle D. Thomas. Let's start with you, Sean. Hey, if you were calling the game and you saw um, William Avila score a touchdown, how would you yell it when you saw him score a touchdown? You're the announcer and you see him having, he just goes in the end zone, what would you say? <laughs> what would you say? Touchdown. There you go. All right. Now, how would you call it? If you saw him going into the end zone, what would you say as the announcer? I would say a touchdown, too. Okay. What would you say? I'll say a touchdown. Okay. Now, how would you yell it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you guys ever watch, would you guys ever watch ESPN and Chris Berman on there and he describes it? Okay. Okay. Here he goes. Touchdown, William Avila. Hey, very good. See, that's excellent. Very good. Now, out there on the field today, was it very hot playing with all your pads and stuff on? No. Not very? It didn't get hot out there? It was kind of cool today. Do you ever get hot in practice and it's like, oh, you're sweating? Yeah. And do you guys take water and stuff to drink? Yeah. Do you ever get Gatorade? Yeah. Okay, great. And at the very end, way down there, that is Mr. D. Thomas. Let me ask you a question. How hard is it to play for your dad who's a coach? Is your dad is your dad yell at you once in a while? Yeah. Does he yell at everybody? Yeah. But he yells at you too? Yeah. See, I coach my son also. Does coach ever yell at you? Yeah. What does he yell at you about? Um, like if I let my guy by in the uh -huh. backfield, eh, and then just... Yeah, I, he tells you not to do it anymore, huh? How about you? Coach ever yell at you before? Yeah. <laughs> Coaches are supposed to do that, by the way. You know that. Because they're supposed to yell at you so they can get your attention and tell you what's... Uh, what have you learned about football so far? That when he yells at us, it's, it's, it's for our own good. Okay, how about you? What's the one thing you've learned so far about playing football? Uh, pretty good. That you like it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, how about you? Um, I don't know. Was it tougher than you thought it would be or easier? Easier. Okay, I like to hear that. Three superstars on this Vistas team. Congratulations, guys. Well, I'm telling you, if you look at these guys' faces, just stay as you are because when Halloween comes around, you ain't going to have to do anything else. It looks pretty good. You are? Ryan Koshin, 24. Brian Pugh, 42. Andrew Turner, 22. 22. Let's start. Oh, oh, wait a minute. 22. Okay. Right? That's okay. That's all right. But Ryan, now you were quarterbacking out there today. What do you think about being quarterback? Is that... A lot of pressure on you. Is it fun? Yeah, it's real fun. Do you ever uh, do you ever throw the ball? You threw it in today, didn't you? No. Not today. That was Bubba. That's right. But how, do you play quarterback every day or every game? That is. 
Mm, sometimes. Uh, what's your favorite position then that you like to play? Quarterback and running back. Running back. Now, have you uh, scored any touchdowns this year? Eight of them. Oh my gosh, eight of them. And do you keep the ball or do you throw it into the stands every time you score a touchdown? Keep the ball. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, do they have a football card uh, with your picture on it yet? No. Okay. All right. Someday they will, though, right? And number 42 in the middle is Mr. Gator Pugh. You got to run the ball today, right? Now, do you, have you run the ball before yourself? So there was a lot of first opportunities to run the ball today. What's it like to take the ball and run? Fun. Until you get hit, huh? <laughs> I know it's a lot of fun. Um, what positions do you normally play? I play linebacker. Mm -hmm. And running back today, huh? So you ever would you rather run with the ball and get hit, or do you like to hit people? I like to hit people. Yeah, I think it's usually better that way. How about you? Um, I like to hit people. What's the best thing that you do out in the field for this team, do you think? What, what are you most talented in football? Um, running. Besides putting black stuff all over your face. Um, and putting red stuff all over your face. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick. Never got to run the ball. That's okay. You got a bunch of the season left here. Uh. By the way, I was going to ask you, have you ever seen what a, uh, you ever seen a Skyhawk before? Yeah. And what do they look like? Uh. Weird. You ever see one flying in the sky? Mm-hmm. Have you? Around on my friend's house, uh -huh. it was right on this plant, yeah. and I saw that one. Yeah, well that's actually pretty good. So have you ever, uh, have you ever guys ever stayed up really late at night before a game? Aren't you supposed to go to bed early? Two o'clock uh -oh. in the morning. Yesterday. Yesterday, two o'clock. Mom, to, Dad, did you hear that? I went to Cal Pasture yes, for my brother's game. And you went, you got home at two in the morning? What time did you go to bed last night? Uh. 9.30. Okay, and how about you? 9.33. 9.33? Now tell us, that's what you told your mom and dad, right? What time did you really go to bed last night? Uh, about 12. Okay, see, there it comes out there, you guys. Congratulations on a great game, okay? You did very, very well. Stay right seated. Don't move. Wave to the camera and say, hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Well, you know, we always have to have the last few players, but doesn't mean anything because really sometimes we even save maybe the best for last. You are. 41 Bubba Pugh. And you are? 33 Nicholas Walker. Now, your last name is Pugh. I thought your last name was Bash. No. No? Weren't you part of the Bash Brothers? What's that all about? Yeah. What is that all about, Bash Brothers? Because we all hit hard. You're absolutely right. You know, I'm out there calling the game, and I'm seeing this 41 flying over the line and just nailing people. And just, is that something that you practice or just all natural? All natural. Now, do you, do you actually practice with your brother and tackle and hit and... Yeah. <laughs> Is this your first year to play football or have you played before? Played before. And you like it, huh? Man, you are a talented person. And what do you want to do when you grow up? Play football. What position? Uh, quarterback. Okay, I tell you what. You're a quarterback. You're playing for a pro team. If a, if a soft drink company came to you and said, Bubba, we want to pay you a million dollars to... to uh, advertise our product, what type of soda would you want to advertise? <laughs> I don't care. What's your favorite soda? Do you have one? No. Well, you're going to be in trouble. you got to have a favorite soda, a favorite uh, tennis shoe, you got to have a favorite uh, candy bar. What's your favorite candy bar? A Snickers. There you go. See, they'll pay you a million dollars to say you like Snickers when you uh, get older. And of course, seated next to you is? Nicholas Walker. And now, is this your first year playing? Yeah. Now, can you move around very much in those pads? Barely. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you put your helmet on and your pads on, can you, can you uh, bend down and tie your shoe at all? I don't know. It's never happened, huh? No. <laughs> Is it hard to see out of the face mask when you have your helmet on? Not really. Not really? You get used to that? Yeah. How about wearing a mouthpiece? Is that tough to do? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Did you have to dunk it in hot water and form it to your teeth and do all that great stuff before the season started? Yeah. And when you first started in August, you didn't wear pads, you just had to run and run and run. Was it fun the first time you put on pads or was it a little scary? Uh, fun. It was fun. Well, you guys are having a fun time out here, especially when you win so big like you did. Congratulations, both of you. A great game. Hey, we're on. This is the cameraman right here is pointing at us, okay? You know what your name is? Matthew Smith. And? Jared Cardoza. Now, let's start with you then. You know, if you ever watch a football game, or really any type of sporting event, the camera will show on someone on the sideline. 
And do you know normally what an athlete does when they see that a camera's on them? No. What do they normally do? Have you ever seen them? They usually like wave to the camera and say, we're number one, okay? okay. So let's pretend the camera's on you. You're sitting on the sideline. Okay, look that way, okay? Now notice the camera's on you. Now what do you do? What would you do? Uh, You'd say, we're number one. We're number one. <laughs> okay, all right, you do something like that. <laughs> Are you having fun playing? Yeah. Now who gets to, wa do you get to go home and wash your own pants? No. Well, who does? Mom. Now, do you ever say thanks to your mom for washing your dirty, stinky clothes? Sometimes. Okay, all right. It's important that you do that once in a while at least. And Jared Cardoza, right? Yeah. Nice hair. You know, it looks like you've been running so fast. It's just like whoosh like that, huh? Does it just grow naturally that way? No. <laughs> you comb it that way? <laughs> number 32. Do you know of any famous people that have number 32 as a number? Uh, Marcus Allen. Yeah, very good. You guys know your football players. What's the favorite thing about football that you like? Uh, tap, um, two back. Okay. All right, that's running the ball, right? All right. Now, what happens? What do you think about when you've got the ball in your hand? That I'm going to get hit. <laughs> do you keep your eyes open or closed when you know you're going to get hit? Open. Keep them open? Okay. Now, how about you? When you're hitting somebody, do you have your eyes open or closed? Open. Now, have you ever, like, hit someone real hard and you're the one that goes, ouch? It's happened to me before. Um, yeah. It does. You hit in the head or rang, because even though you got pads on, it kind of hurts. Ever get any really good, nice bumps and bruises on the arms? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I tell you, when you come home after a game and you got all these bumps and bruises, geez. What do you do after, uh, after practice, let's say? After you've done your homework, after you've done football practice, what do you like to do at home? Go watch TV and play Nintendo 64. Okay, what's your favorite uh, television show? Nickelodeon. Okay, how about you? What's your favorite show on TV? Do you have Nickelodeon. one? Nickelodeon. Do you have a favorite uh, Sega or uh, or uh, Nintendo game at all? Nintendo 64. Oh, you just like to play them all, huh? Typical great athletes. Congratulations, guys. Wave to the camera and say, hey. Hey. Ho. Hey, ho. Ho. Okay, all right. <laughs> Coaching staff of the Vista Skyhawks, and it's uh, Coach DeThomas next to me, Greg. Yes. And you are? Joe Pugh. Joe Rodriguez. Ray Koshan. Start with you, Greg. You guys had a really pretty easy time on this, but it's because you really have a talented team. What makes this team so talented? Well, we've got uh, a, a nucleus of like 10 or 12 players that are two and three year players, so they have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, the coaches, well, our coaching staff has worked well together, and uh, the kids have worked real hard. They've worked real hard all season, and uh, we've got a lot of quite a few years combined. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's helped us put put them all together and make them work good. Great. And you are with the uh, defense. How hard was it to uh, teach these guys the uh, the fundamentals of understanding containment and just uh, understanding the basic defense that you use out there? We had an easy time with the experienced players, but defense is the easiest side to coach, so that's why I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just natural, natural okay. ability. And Coach Rodriguez, what do you coach out there for the kids? Uh, basically, I mean, help out offense, okay. defensive line. I mean, wherever wherever's needed. I mean, wherever the um, the weak spots are. Well, offensive line is definitely a, a type of, or hard position to coach. How was it uh, for the kids to pick up on what you guys are trying to do on the offensive line? Uh, basically, I mean, like I say, make, making sure they understand their fundamentals. I mean, picking up their blocks and who, who to pick up and and their areas of responsibility I mean, is the hardest part. Okay, and Ray, down at the end, you got to get in a little closer because you're the business manager, right? Yes. I've been a business manager, and you are an unsung hero. You got to be on the sidelines. How hard is it to keep track of these guys and when they play and so forth? Uh, it's a job, but it's fun to do. I like working with the kids, and I'm just out there to make sure they all get their plays, the right kids at the right time, and I like to play with these guys. Good. Well, you guys are having fun out there. One last question, Coach. You know, as these kids move on to the next level, what do you hope they remember about coaching with you and your staff? Well, I just hope that they had fun and, you know, learned, uh, learned a lot, had fun, and maybe hopefully I will go up and coach the same guys again next year. Great. Congratulations. Co coach uh, Greg DeThomas and his entire staff, a great win today against the uh, Escondido Gators. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Good game. <laughs> well, you probably can beat them, too, so thank you. We are here, now we just got finished with the superstar athletes of football, but I got to tell you what, is the real superstars on the team are the cheerleaders right here. Your name is? Angela Reynolds, third grade. Ashley Flett is fourth grade. Danielle Prey, third grade. Well, let's start with you, um, Angela. How long have you been being a cheerleader? First year. First year, and you're so good out there. I saw you guys doing your routine. You know, you're going to uh, a competition tomorrow. 
Yeah. Do you know where it's going to be held at? No. It's called Mount Carmel High School. It's where my kids go to school down there. Have you been practicing really hard? Yeah. Okay. And are you going to wear this nail polish tomorrow? No. Hey, you know what? Do you, do you have a sore arm or anything? Because you kind of keep putting the arm behind there. No. Well, what's behind your back? A lollipop. Well, let me see it. Ah, <laughs> did you see that green lollipop? Is that your favorite color? I don't know. <laughs> you just like lollipops, don't you? All right. And Ashley Fletis. You know what? There's a kid on the football team with the last name. Isn't that strange? Yeah, he's my brother. Oh, is your brother strange? Yes. Yes, he can be at times. Does he kind of think that you're strange sometimes? Yes. Now, does he ever ask you to go play football with him? Yeah. Do you ever ask him to cheerlead with you? Yeah. Does he ever cheerlead with you? Yeah. Well, good. Now, can you say anything else besides yeah? Yes. <laughs> now, what are these things called? Pom-poms. Now, why are they called pom-poms? Because they're bushy. Okay. Did you have to bush them up, or were they that way already when you got them? We had to bush them up. How do you bush them up? Show me. Show me if they were brand new. How would you do it? Um, Danielle, help me. Go like this. Oh, I see. And that bushes them up? Is yeah. that called bushing up? No. What's it called? It's called crinkling them. Oh, it's called crinkling. you got to get these terms down. Now, do you have palms? Yeah. Everybody has palms? Yeah. Okay. And Danielle, you have palms? Yes. Now, Danielle, I have to ask you, do you have naturally curly hair? Mm -hmm. Oh, do now do you like who fixes your hair? My mom. Oh, well that's awfully nice. Now, who made the bows for your hair? You know those are very nice bows. Oh, our coach. My mom. Who? My mom. Your mom did. Everybody bend down. Oh, you have yours, is it in? No. Okay, bend down. Bend down and shake your head. Oh, they look so cute. How long have you been cheering? This is my first year. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Have you done any sports or anything else besides this? No. Great. Well, you know, you can work your way up. My daughter started at the Mighty Might level, and now she's a varsity cheerleader at the high school. So it's uh, if you stick with it, you can do a lot and have a lot of fun. Now, your shoes are all the same. Do you call people up on the phone and ask them what shoes you're wearing? No. Well, how did you all get the same shoes? They're for um, the, at sign-ups. We had try-ons, and they showed us the kind of shoes that we would be wearing. And now, you were wanting to say something over here, so... You were talking about shoes. We were saying, well, how come you have the same color shoes? Okay, we have one practice shoes, and these are our game shoes. And um, uh, they came with these little thingies, and you can put them in whatever color you want. That, those are called thingies, huh? Okay. I don't know what they're uh -huh. called. That's weird that they came black and red, because that's like the same color as your outfit, huh? They're, they were white, and then you have to pop them in. Oh, you pop them in. So they're, they're called poppy innies. They're not, they're not called thingamajigs, right? Okay. And hey, you have to order the shoes. How many cheers do you think you know in your head? Uh, lots. Okay. Right. I'll tell you what, 34. I'll tell you what, we're going to interview the other girls, and then at the end, I want you to come back and give me a cheer, okay? Okay. Okay, so stay right here. Now, I truly believe that the only reason the team won today is because of the spirit that was generated by the cheerleaders here. You guys had a great cheering game today. Your name is? Amanda Carrier. I'm not 10. My name is Alexis Fletis, and I'm almost 11. Kristen Trainer, and I'm 9 years old. Well, let's start with you, uh, Amanda, right? How long have you been cheering? A year. And you like it, huh? Yeah. Now, how did you get into cheering? Did you have a brother or sister in cheering before? No. Did you have some friends that just wanted to cheer? Um, yeah. They were cheering, and then um, I wanted to be a cheerleader when I was a little, littler. Uh-huh, when you were just a little kid, huh? Uh-huh. And now you are one. That's great. What's the hardest thing for you about being a cheerleader? Um... Practice. Uh, practice makes perfect, as they say. Is is like learning the dance routines or learning the cheers themselves? Yeah. But it's fun, isn't it? That's why you're here? Yeah. That's great. Well, you do a very good job. And in the middle, we've got uh, Alexis, right? You know, there's this kid. You look just like Ashley. I mean, I, I thought you were Ashley. I was going to say, Ashley, I've already interviewed you. Do you know Ashley? She's my sister, and Leo's my brother. Oh, oh my gosh. So it's a family affair around here. Now, are you guys twins? No. You, does anybody ever ask you if you're twins? All the time. I, well, you look so much alike. Now, who's... I'm, I'm just going to ask this softly so no one will know. Who's the better cheerleader between both of you? Okay. All right, all right. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> is that your uh, your coach over there? That's my mom. But is she your coach, right? Yeah. And she was telling you to do what? 
Cl um, close my mouth. Because you have what in your mouth? Gum. <laughs> now tomorrow you're going to a competition and you're going to actually perform the routine and you won't have gum in your mouth, right? No. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yes. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? We're going to cheer for a lot of people. Do you know how many people are expected there? Maybe 200. How about 2,000? Yeah, that would be probably. Yeah, that's about 2,000. There's going to be about 2,000 people there. And they're all going to be there for one reason. They want to have fun and see people do uh, well, but most importantly, just have fun. Are you having fun cheering? Yes. And what's what's the hardest thing for you with about cheering? Um, it's just like going and trying to learn the moves. It's it's tough. It's over and over. What about school? Is it hard to be a cheerleader and, and uh, also uh, go to school and do well in school? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite classes? Um... Um, I don't know. Okay. Now, do you ever wear your uniform to school and say, I'm a cheerleader? No. I didn't think you would do that. All right. Because your brother probably doesn't wear his uniform to school and say, I'm a football player, huh? No. Nah, I didn't think so. But you do it on Saturdays, right? You travel around. Where did you go last week? Do you remember? Um, I don't really remember. We were here. We were, we were, were here. here. Okay. And how early did you have to get up this morning to be here? Um, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And how, how late did you go to bed last night? Uh, my parents were at casino tonight, and I had a babysitter, and we stayed up till 9.30. 9.30. Okay, that's not bad. What time did you go to bed last night? 10. Okay, well, that's not bad either. Okay, well, congratulations. One, two, three. Do you each get one palm each? We two. get two palms. Uh-oh, hey, wait, let's all bend your heads down, because you guys all have bows. Oh, they are so cute. Good job. Ooh, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We are back with two more super talented cheerleaders. You are? Ashley Wynn. And we talked about what your favorite color was. What is that? Green. Green. And how about you? Uh, green and blue and purple. I'm sorry. What is your name? We forgot to ask that. Alyssa Wade. Now, get this. Now, your favorite is green. Yours is green, purple, and blue, and maybe black and red. Just maybe might be your favorite colors? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you ever eat anything special before a game? Do you have a special meal to eat because you need to have that energy? No. Well, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Um, nothing. Okay, you have to eat something. How about the night before? What did you have for dinner? Um, As a matter of fact, before you answer that, try this one. If you had only one food that you could eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, What's your favorite food in the world? Chicken van. Okay. And how about you? What's your favorite food in the world? Ice cream. Now, ice cream, what flavor? Uh, cookies and cream. Okay. Now, <laughs> let me ask you this. Do you know what the score of today's game was? No. Do you know who won? Us. Hey, that's right. Okay. Now, do you think the score was, was it 57 to 6 or was it 33 to 14? What do you think? Um, 30, it was 30, 30, That's right, 14. you're right, congratulations, 33, 14, that's great. Do you guys ever watch the football game or do you just focus on cheerleading all the time? Uh, well, sometimes we um, pay attention to what they're doing. Right. Now, do you paint those freckles on or are they just natural? They're just natural. And do you dye your hair reddish or is that natural too? Natural. So you're a naturally red-headed freckled cheerleader, right? Mm -hmm. Very cute, and it matches your outfit. I thought maybe you did that. Now, do you ever call up? Uh, and talk to one another and say, um, what, how are you going to wear your hair today? Or is it all, do you have to have it pulled back or anything? Um, we have to have it pulled back. What's the toughest cheer you have that you know right now that was the hardest to learn? Um, offense, jump to it. Offense, jump to it, right? Because you have to clap and get in that rhythm. How about you? Uh, the same as hers. Okay, it's... well then I think what we need to do is, where's the rest of the cheerleaders? Let's go. We're going to do a cheer, okay? Come on and get all the cheerleaders together, right? We're going to stand up. Let's stand up right here. And we're going to move this out of here. Yeah, that's okay. You guys line up right here. It's got to be right here in front of the camera, though, okay? Do we have to do it with palms? Not necessarily. Whoops. We're just going to try and get you close together so you can all be in the camera. Watch. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. Okay. Cameron, do they need to get back a little bit? You guys move back a little bit, okay? Right there. That's good. Can you get them all in? Okay. George has got you all in the camera, okay? So you guys start when you're ready. Ready? Okay. How funky is your chicken? How funky is your chicken?
<laughs> All right, good job, everybody. Very good. Thank you very much. Well, you've met all the players and the cheerleaders. You've seen the team play on the field, and what a game it was. Totally dominated by this Vista Skyhawks team. The final score, Skyhawks 33, the Escondido Gators 14. And I'll tell you what, the 14 really meant nothing at all. It was totally dominated by offense, by defense, by this Vista team. The Vista Skyhawks, well, they moved to a record of 5-2. and two. The next stop on their uh, schedule is Oceanside, so we wish them good luck. On behalf of Sports Video Productions, I'm Dan Williams. We'll see you again.